What's going on everyone? Dougie here. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, we'd love for you to hit the red subscribe button. Today we are at West Pines Golf Club. It's in Douglasville, Georgia. It's a course that I've heard about. Very, very pure greens is the reputation. And I'm excited. I'm bringing a pure golf video. Not a lot of talking. Pure golf, pure course vlog. Let's jump into it. Playing from the back tees today, the gold tees, 6,800 yards, not super long for the tips, but still pretty long course. Hole number one, par four, 450 yards, just trying to smooth out a three wood. And we did that, put a little draw on it and caught the left side of the fairway here. Good start on number one. About 160 yards, I have a nine iron, trying to just baby draw a green in regulation here. Pretty good looking shot. It kept drawing and was a little bit long, but still on the green. We have a putted birdie here, a little longer than we'd expected. Let's see how these greens are rolling. As you could see, the ball started hopping just a few feet into the putt. A little slower than I'd thought. I'm not sure they've been cut recently, but still, par on number one, good start, solid. We have a tough par four right here, uphill. The second shot is blind. You see me going with three wood again, trying to stay away from the driver. It's been a little bit erratic lately. So we went with another draw, three wood, and again, left side of the fairway. Pretty good setup here, but a buck 93. This is just long, up the hill, blind shot. Let's just hit it and hope. Pretty solid contact here. I'm feeling pretty good about it, thinking I might be on the green and I was a little bit left of the green. So tough spot here to get up and down from. Electing to go with the pitching wedge, keep it low, bump and run, make it simple and give ourselves a good look at par here. I can't believe that. That ball just dove. Okay, bogey. Not super pleased with that, but it was a tough putt. I thought I put it in the heart. And now on number three, we got a 213 yard par three. I have a four iron in hand, pins right. See if we can cut one in. And we opened the face a little bit and just pushed it. So we're gonna miss the green to the right here, which is not the spot that you wanna miss on short-sighted myself a little bit so we might have to grab the 60 degree open up the face and see if we can't pop one up there give ourselves a good look at par key here is just to to trust it and we didn't swing with enough speed got a little bit timid can't get timid with the 60 degree if you're going to open the face you got to just commit to it Tough par look here, gave it a good speed, good run, and tap in for the bogey, moving on to the next hole. I should have a chance to get a stroke back here. This is a par five, a beast of a hole. Now we're grabbing the big stick. You know what? We might be able to get home in two. Let's just give this a rip. And wow. Might be one of the best swings of the day with the driver there. High bomb with the draw, playing it off the slope. You see the fist pump. I'm feeling juiced. I'm thinking I can get home in two. I get up here, I have about 255, and it's a blind shot, and there's trouble around the green. So I just elected to lay it up. I think I hit a pitching wedge here, trying to get myself around 100 yards in. Played it perfect right down the middle of the fairway. Should give us a look around 100 yards or in at this pin that's back right. 86 yards, so got some good roll out there off the pitching wedge. And I'm trying just to fillet one in there. Unfortunately, I pulled it just a bit, but the distance was good. Not a bad shot. Should give us an outside chance for Bird. Oh, what a putt. Get in the hole, come on. Oh, what a run at it. Still trying to get 
the speed of these greens down. You know, par on the par five wasn't what I was looking for, but I played a three shot hole. So try to just play the percentage play there. Tough par three here, 196. I have a six iron in hand. I'm trying to draw one in and unfortunately just left it out right. Left it out right. It looked like it might have gone into a bunker, but I got up there and it looked like it was just a grass bunker. But that is such a thing. So elected to go with a bump here. See if we can get a couple hops through this rough. Kind of like that. Just how I drew it up. Didn't really break much, but great speed there. Should be a pretty flat putt here for par. Solid. Right in the middle. That's a great par. Good momentum there on the par three. Uphill par four. That's a common theme at this course. 440, so I'm going driver now. Trying to stick one in the middle. And wow. I mean, you see the club twirl there. That might be... Might be my best drive of the day. I mean, just didn't even move. Just right down the center of the fairway. 170 uphill, pins tucked left a little bit. I'm trying to draw one in again and just sort of left it out right. Thought I might find the bunker, but fortunately it carried the bunker. So we're on the green. We have a putt here and I'm telling myself, give this a run. Don't leave it short. Wow, I can't believe it. That really got away from me. Downhill past the hole. Uphill putt. Whoa, that thing dove right. I mean, what was that? Did I hit something? It looked like a straight putt, but sort of sat on a fault line there. Tough one. Tough to make a bogey there being on the green in two. Short part four here. And I went with a stinger. A little stinger iron, three iron, rope draw. Cut off the hole a little bit. Made it shorter. And I have a sand wedge in hand here for 117, trying to draw one in. You see the ball flight, you see it turn, and you see me walking over. And I am pumped. I think this is tight. I think I drew one in inside 10 feet. Get up there, the ball spun back 20 feet. Tough break there. Soft greens. Longer putt than I had wanted here for my bird. And just didn't take a big enough stroke. Left it well short. And the golden gun saved me on that one. That was a little bit longer of a putt than it looked from the camera angle. Great par save. We got a par five here. Feeling pretty good about the driver. And, and then the dog hook came out. Man, I smacked that tree and it bounced 40 yards back into this rough before the fairway. So after about a 110 yard drive, we have a three wood now trying to make up for some lost distance. And that we did, that was probably piped about 270. Should put us back in pretty good shape on this par five. Inside 100 yards, back pin. I have my sand wedge here, just trying to have a low follow through like that. See if we can't get the distance down. And I was pumped about this one, it felt pretty good. Looked like it was pretty tight. We got about 20 feet uphill. Greens are slow. So am I gonna give it enough pace here for the birdie? Good pace and just a little bit of break right around the hole, which is kind of common at this course so far. So par here on number eight, moving to number nine. Short par four, I have an iron here. Trying to just lay it to the right side in the fairway, give ourselves a good look. And then it just hooked. It hooked right into the trees. Fortunately, had a, had a look at it under the branches here. There was a creek, so I got kind of lucky that I didn't go too far. And so here's just a pitching wedge punch shot. It actually made great contact here. Left it out to the left, but just to have a putt at birdie after that drive is pretty solid. So long range putt here. See if I can dial in the speed control Maybe even get one to go in. Wow. Man, that's that's what you like to see on the long putts, just right by the edge. Easy putt uphill for par. So moving on to number 10. Pretty solid couple stretches, holes on the front side. Number 10's a par three. 
doesn't turn around back at the clubhouse. So we're in the middle of the course here, playing our draw. Got a seven iron from 175, hit it pretty well, but didn't get back to that pin. So we got a long putt here for our bird. Can we get the speed down? I mean, it wanted to, it just stopped. And now I've left myself a tough, dicey little left to right breaker for par. Do I have the confidence to get that in? Nope, just kind of babied that putt. Unfortunately, never had the chance. So three putt to start the backside. I'm trying to put that behind me now on the 11th tee. Got my three iron in hand. Going for that bullet draw. Just like that. I mean, just felt so good. I mean, just buttery contact with the Mizunos. Got some good roll out here and only have about 150 left. So I got a pitching wedge. You'll see the low follow through going for kind of a flighted down trajectory. And I didn't need to do that. Uh, there's just no need to do that here. Left it about 15 yards short of the green. Should have just gone normal swing pitching wedge. Didn't need to get fancy. And as you can see, the guys here behind me are right on my heels. So I got a quick bump and run here up the hill couple hops and we got an outside look at par. Oh, what a putt! Unbelievable! Golden Gun saved me again there. Short par four, we got a three or four iron in hand here, going for the draw again and just hit this so, so good. I think I went with the four iron because I wasn't sure how far the ravine was. Then I got up there and I was very glad that I did not hit a three iron because I barely stayed up. 140, got a gap wedge here, pins back left. Didn't play the draw, kind of just left it out right and short. So we're on the green, but we got a tough two putt coming up. Very pleased with that two putt. I'll take the par and I'll move on to this par five. Interesting par five, didn't go with driver because there was a creek up there. So I have a five wood here. Looks like it might be a three shot hole. Little bit leaky, a little bit weak to the right. Not gonna cost me though. We're okay, there's some rough over there that stopped it. So I've kept the same club out, five wood. And we're just laying it up in the middle of the fairway. Great swing there with a five wood uphill, sort of a blind shot coming in. A lot of blind shots, a lot of blind approach shots here. So I don't exactly know my yardage. I think it's about 105 and I hit this, I drew it in. I thought it was all over the stick. I'm fist pumping. I'm thinking we're tight and I get up there and I'm just off the green to the back, which is just devastating because of this ridge, which I didn't know. And now I'm trying to just get it to this ridge and let gravity do the work. And that was a tough, tough spot to be outside of 10 feet here for my par. Tough, you know, tough putt. Looked like it was straight and then just broke right before the hole, which happened quite a bit actually. These greens were deceptively difficult. A lot of break right before the hole. Pretty straightaway par four here. I like holes where you can just see everything right in front of you and the club twirl and, and that might be my best driver swing of the day. That was just absolutely on a rope. Left to right lie here, the pin's on the right side. So I'm, as you can see, I'm aiming left for a cut. Can I cut one in from 140? Probably playing a pitching wedge here, trying to turn it over to the right and it's just not really moving. But good contact, good distance. Just left it back left of the green as you can see there, instead of front right. So another long putt here, as you can see downhill trying to judge the speed, judge the distance. These greens were more difficult than I'd expected. And this one just kept running. It just kept moving over there. Didn't see that break. Now we got it, five footer. Trying to firm it right in the center. 
good putt there. Good par, moving on to the par three. The pin's right, so as you can see from my feet, I'm lining up left, playing for the cut. Trying to just will it over to the right and it's not moving. So another, you know, left side of the green, just barely missed the green when I wanted to really turn it over to the right. Not an easy up and down here. I'm electing to putt this one and just give it a big firm stroke, not leaving it short, but unfortunately ran it way past. And again, you know, outside 10 feet here for the par. Not what we're looking for because of those deceptive breaks, like that one. Didn't see it and just broke to the right. So bogey there. Great looking par four here. Number 16, uphill. Another blind approach shot here. But the tee shot's not blind. I know exactly where I'm trying to hit this one. And the sun is setting. It's beautiful golden hour. This is on a rope. Just a little bit of a draw right down the middle of the fairway. Should put me in pretty good shape here. But again, blind shot, 145, uphill. Just butter. Just buttery contact there. Pitching wedge, uphill. And I thought this was going to be good. And it was right in the center of the green. So... Bad 20, 25 feet here for birdie. Gave this a good putt and it just turned left. I mean, look at that turn. Didn't see the break. Uh, uphill putt here. And just uh, caught the left edge. Made a pretty good stroke, but a little bit of break and that's enough right there to get us in bogey. Moving to 17, par five. I mean, look at this backdrop. Look at the sky. And oh, oh, I could watch that all day long. Just, I know I've said this before, but that might've been my best drive of the day right there. Just a smooth little butter cut. Perfect, 255 left. I'm going for it, there's no trouble. It's a blind shot, a smooth swing, easy contact, little draw. And this I thought was gonna be all over the pin, maybe a little bit long, and it went over the green. I think it probably bounced on the green, but it was a five wood drawing, so. Bounced over the green, but we're next to the green and two on this part five, so third shot here. Pitching wedge in hand, just looking to bump this a little bit here. Give myself a decent look at birdie. And unfortunately just kind of stubbed it. Just didn't make clean contact. Pretty devastated about that. Not the birdie look that I'd wanted here. A lot of break. Playing it out to the left. And just didn't play it high enough. Nice COVID friendly ball retriever right there. Appreciate that. And closing with this tough par three. Playing the tips again, 233. I have a four iron trying to just rip it and blocked it out to the right a little bit, right of the bunker. I wasn't sure what's over there. It looked like some rough. And look at this. I mean, what a tough spot to be in, trying to pitch it over the bunker with not a lot of green to work with, everything running away from me. I'm open in the face here and just saying a prayer. And I got it over the bunker, but I didn't carry it onto the green. So left it a little short and grabbed the putter here. This was an easy decision. Let's just try to get out of here with a bogey after that tee shot. Not bad speed. Three feet left for our bogey here. What a fun day. What a fun course. First time playing. Definitely want to get back out here. Cleaned up the bogey. And par 71, shot 79. So I shot a 79, not my best score, not my worst score, somewhere in between. But I just never really got into a rhythm. It was one of those rounds where you're kind of rushing. Like I had five seconds to line up each putt. Uh, the guys behind me were just kind of breathing on me the whole time. So I feel like I need to come back and play this course and just slow down a little bit, take in the course. I was kind of just rushing a little bit and then the greens were slower than I expected. So overall wasn't too impressed. However, let's consider the value of this place, right? Most of the public courses that I've been playing, about $70 a round, right? 70 to 80 to 60. This was $29 for 18 holes riding with a cart. So when we considered that value, all of a sudden this was a great course for what I paid for. So West Pines and Douglasville, uh, you're gonna get a lot of money's worth out of coming out to play here, right? It's gonna test you, it's challenging, it's got a good layout. Uh, a couple holes I didn't know quite where to hit the ball. So I'm gonna have to come back and play this course again and hopefully 
piece together a little bit better of a round. So hope you enjoyed this pure golf course vlog series here out at West Pines. This is my first time playing out of West Pines. Greens were a little shaggy overall. I heard that their greens are glass. They were not glass today. They were actually really slow and I never really quite adjusted to the speed. My long game was pretty good today. I hit the ball well, but it was just my short game, especially putting and just giving away strokes where they didn't have to be given away, chipping and putting. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Hit the red subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed to my channel. I think we have somewhere close to 75% watching who are not yet subscribed. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Dougie here, thanks for watching. If you like these pure golf videos, let me know down below in a comment. Hope to bring some more pure golf to you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.